Hey friends, welcome back to another video. It's weekly energy. We're talking about the week of the new moon in Pisces from starting with the 20th through the 26th. You know, February is going really, really fast. Um, I did do some backtracking um, to look at the entire year spread, which I did um, before New Year's. And it is my intention to bring you um, that report, that energy report, uh, the card reading from the Illuminated Love Oracle for all of 2023. So I do apologize for its delay, knowing that it is like mid-February and we're now in Pisces season, but it is coming. So I want to talk about the end of Aquarius season. Aquarius is an air sign, even though it's a sign of the water bearer, and it makes me think of the swords air is the swords and the tarot and the swords are a challenging cycle they can be a challenging cycle because it's related to our intellect um, and our thoughts and our thoughts can be some of the most destructive forces to our human life um, because it is a bit about ego right and so we did see some ego um, showing up last week or at least you know there was a challenging transit with Sun and Saturn that was the self-critic okay but there is a lot of potential for love showing up uh, whether it's self-love romantic love platonic love there are some like really good feelings resulting from this and we're coming around and so this week is the new moon in Pisces this is really a time to give yourself the credit of your intuition working for you and not against you um, at the same time that we have the new moon in pisces venus moves into aries you want to talk about like boldness flirtatiousness assertiveness in love and and taking action on the things that we care about i feel like this week is we've got a lot of potential for that because we're starting the week with the with Venus moving into Aries and this new moon in Pisces. And the new moon energy, by the way, is, is with us for a while, right? I'd say all week. He, uh, listen to some of these other themes that we have for the week and then let's get into our card reading. Profound healing into emotions and away from materialism. Challenges regarding changes or surprises in the zone. Easy to manifest what you think. Focus and mental ability. So that's where we see the turning around of our mental ability from last week's little dip, if, if that was part of your experience. Uh, problem solving speed. Speed. So there, this is giving me like Knight of um, Swords energy. Again, our mental capacities might be uh, really heightened as a result of some of our feeling. And so... With the new moon in Pisces being the predominant energy of this week, I really do feel like you got to give yourself the credit. you got to give your intuition the credit, your body, your higher self to know and understand and process what's going on around you, whatever's going on around you. So this could be a challenge, this problem solving speed, this, like a, this feeling that you have an idea and you just want to go after it and call it done or say you know like no i think you should sit with it i think you should sit with it and feel it there's this idea of slowing down enough to make a proper decision okay then we move into um some easy energy expressing our desires maybe receiving praise there's lilith that's a that's a venus transit with lilith um and then finally um we have a taurus moon weekend there is a real dedication showing up for you to get what you want. You're showing up, you know, if this is if this is for you, this is what's available. The energy of becoming so dedicated to what you want. And so it's time to do the work. Next weekend is going to be a good weekend to do the work. Use the qualities of your sun sign to do this work. Um, ego and drive support your spiritual goals consciously use and get close to your ego befriend your ego befriend your ego okay. 
Okay, I know that was a lot, but the, see, doesn't that sound like an exciting week? I think it does. I think for me, it sounds like a departure from last week's energy where things felt kind of sticky and confused. And anytime I receive, I have like specific feelings during readings, um, I know that I'm connecting to somebody out there who's watching this, who needs to hear it. Um, or if I'm just doing a personal reading, this is something I've noticed a lot is I will, um, I receive information in the form of feeling. So if I feel confused, it means you're confused. You're being confused about something or unsure. Sometimes I get just really happy or sometimes I feel like a, a breath of fresh air has come or some relief has come. Feeling relief is common as well. All right, but let's get some messages from the tarot for this week and see what story wants to show up. What is the story? It's New Moon in Pisces. By the way, I am doing a virtual, a free virtual event on Eventbrite or via Zoom, but you can register via Eventbrite. I'll leave the link in the description box below. It is a Create Your Sacred Space um, New Moon Ceremony for the New Moon in Pisces. I'm going to do it Sunday night. Um, I am still doing weekly group Reiki healing sessions. So unless you're in Jamaica, uh, you can't really participate in those in person, but I do have a virtual option. Um, nobody's utilized the virtual option yet, but it is a, like I have the setup if um, you want to join in on that. And that's just $10 uh, to jump in on the virtual healing, uh, which in Reiki we call absent healing. Um, it's just as effective. Reiki can transcend time, space, location, um, all that. So um, if you do want to work with me um, and we're not together, just know that you can, both in this group healing or one-on-one. -on -one. This card always shows up. Sometimes it just falls right out of the deck, as you just saw this for me, it's just a confirmation that I am connected to receiving a message. The channel is open. And it's about the th Three of Pentacles, which is about collaboration. Um, this is a card that, for me, is tied to self-worth. Um, it is also a card of um, laying the foundation and wanting to build something um, stable. Right, and anytime we have a three, there's third party, so it's like you and another person, you and a situation, um, or something like that. It did flip out in the reverse, so I'm not exactly sure what to make of that just yet, but just consider themes of self-worth, um, themes of knowing you have what it takes to build a solid foundation for whatever it is that you want. All right. King of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, The Hangman, Seven of Pentacles, and Temperance. These cards are showing up a lot. I feel like I should do another trending tarot post because The Hangman, Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Not, I mean, basically all of these cards are showing up a lot. All of these cards have shown up at least twice in the last few readings that I've done. done. Two out of three readings. In the middle we have the Knight of Cups. This is involving taking action through your heart space. Taking action with truth, leading your heart. And I do see there is another energy here, a second, a secondary energy that is um, either seeing you authentically or you're seeing them authentically. Either way, there's like the creation of this partnership or something feeling very good and authentic. And I think it's, it's causing movement towards something that you do care about, something that you feel very good in your heart. Um, about 
However, there appears to be a challenge here in terms of either not understanding your worth, again, not understanding your influence or abilities. Um, you know, this could be like, maybe we're just in a, a lack mentality at this point. This could be just like some um, lingering uh, effects of previous trans mental transits. Um, you know, I'm thinking Mercury, Pluto, uh, who else did we have here? I mean, Saturn as well. Because what I, what I see is that there wants to be an awareness around what it is that you are building or have invested a lot of time into, um, and yet it doesn't feel as abundant as maybe you want it to. Maybe that's why this Three of Pentacles comes out in the reverse is because we, in some ways, what I'm seeing is you need external validation in order to prove your worth instead of sitting in your worth um, and understanding it and waiting for the right person, the right situation to come along. What I do see is that there is like another party or another person or situation that does see your worth. And it, there, there is, this is probably these, these lovely um, Venus-Pluto uh, transit that um, happened on Sunday in its exactitude. Sunday the 19th, I mean. So right at the top of this week. And yet, um, there is some movement there, and yet, we're being asked to be patient, we're being asked to take a time out to really work on our um, thoughts around abundance and wealth. Um, I feel like you're maybe learning to do something differently um, or you're it, really it's about a new perspective so it's you may be doing the same thing or a similar thing or maybe you are doing something completely different you've attempted it you've spent some time doing it and now it's like you have to approach it from a different angle and I think that this different angle does involve this more heart-centered approach versus being in the mode or in a, in a mental theme of it has to be this way because it's not enough. Like being in a lack mentality, um, feeling out in the cold and energetically influencing whatever your project is that you can think of or attach yourself to or a situation, ship, relationship. Uh, this really reminds me of like sort of the difference between like entering a relationship um, due to like not wanting to feel lonely versus um, having an understanding of yourself and what you're actually looking for in a relationship that is supportive to you and helps you become a better version of yourself in, in this like wonderful challenging sort of way. So that dichotomy, I mean you can apply that across many different themes, but I, like I said, I do see the cups here, this action, this heart-oriented action, and you're not alone in that, like, there's definitely some other energy here, or maybe somebody is bringing you um, some very tender message or loving message that helps you see yourself in a new light, helps you to understand yourself and how you've grown or are growing and changing. Um, whenever I see the hangman and temperance just like that and seeing the seven of pentacles here as well, this is about like doing the work and taking time to enjoy and or integrate uh, the lessons here. Grow or integrate the lessons. This really, this reading feels also a bit like the the difference between appearing strong um, and powerful, appearing powerful versus the true power of vulnerability, the true power of emo our emotions and uh, and emotional expression. I think that leads to um, 
the kind of self-awareness, um, very challenging, you know, when you realize, when you can, when you can realize tendencies of your own toxic behavior or negative thought patterns, you do have to sit with that for a while, right? Because if you go backwards from that point, then you're in denial. Moving forwards is painful. And so that's why I think this Knight of Cups, this move, whatever you do, move forward with a lot of tenderness um, and honor the way that you feel about a situation. And it may feel like you're not getting what you want or, not, or feeling like you're not getting what you need. But you are improving your position. Um, I feel like you're improving your position because you're not only spiritually evolving, but you're also growing, I think, in a, I mean, for lack of a better word, like emotional intelligence. Like you're, you're, you're definitely breaking some sort of pattern here. You're definitely breaking some sort of pattern. Um, okay, just making sure the mic's alright. Any final advice? Final advice. No? Did we receive the intended message? Yes. Okay. We'll give it, we'll leave it there then. Thanks so much for watching and catching uh, this week's energy update. Um, like I said, there are going to be a couple new things down in the description box below. So if you want to join in on the new moon ceremony that I'm having, it's free, it's online. Um, join in on that. Go ahead and register uh, if you want to do group Reiki healing sessions. Um, I'm offering those as well as a virtual option at this time. Um, and if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can always um, reach me through my website, okay? So, that's what I got. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, remember to give yourself the credit this week. Your intuition is a powerful force. And sometimes we just have to sit with the work. Let it, let it do what it's doing internally um, and spiritually. Okay?